Biofundamentals 2012, an introduction to MCDB 1150, Section 3. Course information, the social text via highlighter, and B Socratic activities. The course homepage is at virtuallaboratory.colorado.edu slash biofundamentals 2012. Everything you need for the course is located on this website. On the left side of the course homepage is a list of the subjects we'll be covering. Clicking any of these will open them up in a new window. The main page also has links to the syllabus. The dates of exams which are held during class are indicated, as are the various topics we'll cover for each class period. The Biofundamentalist blog is where I'll post various kinds of articles and observations I find interesting. You never have to go there and the material there is completely optional. The home button will take you back to the main page of the website. From here you can go to the course information page. This contains a link to information on how we will address issues of disability, religious observances, classroom behavior, sexual harassment, and honor code issues. Please read it. On the course information page, you will find information about how the course operates and how grades are determined. Please note that MCDB 1150 is different from courses you may be used to. First, there's no textbook. All information you'll need for the class is on the website. There are links out, but only very rarely are you responsible for that material. Don't worry, we'll make it very clear when you're responsible for it. There are no open computers or cell phones allowed in class. For notes, you might want to bring a notebook and a pencil or pen. Finally, you're expected to have read and interacted with the material before the class begins. To make sure of this, we use two different tools. The first of these tools is Highlighter. The text is socially interactive, and Highlighter enables you to interact with the text and other students in the class. You can see their highlights and you can respond to them. You can highlight any words you don't understand and make a comment. Or you can look at other students' comments and continue the conversation. You will receive an email from Highlighter asking you to sign up for an account. Don't worry, it's free. Once you've been registered for a Highlighter group for the class, you'll get an email like this. Follow the instructions and register. Don't worry, it's free and you don't have to provide any important personal information. You'll be assigned to a group of four other students. You should work with them to answer the questions within the text and you can also discuss practice exams and other tasks with them. Feel free to talk about whatever you want as long as it's related to the class. If you find your group is dysfunctional, let me know. I'll fix it. Remember, I can see every highlight, so I really know who is doing what. The second interactive system used in the course is Be Socratic. Here's the website. You can play around with it if you'd like. Be Socratic activities are embedded into the Biofundamentals website, typically at the end of each reading. Generally, you will be asked to answer and comment about various questions and sometimes work through problems. Some of these problems are graphical and we think you'll find them pretty interesting. You'll be able to log into Be Socratic through these activities using your last name and the password BIO2012. By this point, you may be asking yourself why so much emphasis on reading and responding to the text. We will be presenting a number of complex and difficult ideas for you to master. And to do that, you need to actively think about them, which means generally coming to class prepared to discuss them and to ask questions about the things you don't really understand, and thinking about how it is you do know what you think you know, and whether it's coherent, logical, and based on observation. This is a process known as metacognition. To encourage you to be metacognitive, that is, to be Socratic, 20% of your grade will be based on reading and interacting with the text, your fellow students, and your interactions with be Socratic activities. The same approach will be used for exams. Exams will be held in class and are designed to be completable in 40 minutes. 
They come in two parts. The first is a multiple choice part. The correct answer is worth four points. An incorrect answer is worth minus one point. And after this, you must choose what you think is a wrong answer and explain why it's wrong. This part will be worth three points. If you realize that you have no idea how to answer the question, you can pick no idea and get two points max for the question. Don't worry, we'll be practicing answering these types of questions a lot in class.